Welcome to video 4 for this unit on Introduction to Quadratic Functions. In this video, we're going to focus on graphing quadratic functions. Different forms of quadratic functions can tell us interesting information about the function's graph. When a quadratic function is expressed in standard form, it can tell us the y-intercept of the graph representing the function. For example, the graph representing y equals x squared minus 2x minus 3 has its y-intercept at 0, negative 3. We can see this in the equation when x is 0. Evaluating the equation at x equals 0 gives y equal to 0 squared minus 2 times 0 minus 3, which equals negative 3. When a function is expressed in factored form, it can help us see the x-intercepts of its graph. Let's look at the function f of x equals the quantity x plus 1 times the quantity x minus 3. And the function g of x equals the quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x plus 6. If we graph y equals f of x, we see that the x-intercepts of the graph are negative 1, 0, and 3, 0. Notice that we could rewrite the x plus 1 term in f of x as x minus negative 1. Then we can see the x-intercepts in the equation for f of x. If we graph y equals g of x, we see that the x-intercepts are at negative 2, comma, 0 and negative 6, comma, 0. Notice again that rewriting the terms as x minus negative 2 and x minus negative 6 allows us to see the values of the x-intercepts in the equation. The connection between the factored form and the x-intercepts of the graph tells us about the zeros of the function. Recall that the zeros are the input values that produce an output of zero. Let's look closer at the connection between the zeros of f of x and the x-intercepts of its graph. Because the inputs negative 1 and 3 produce an output of zero, They are both zeros of the function. And because both x values have zero for their y value, they also give us the x-intercepts of the graph. So, the zeros of a function have the same values as the x-coordinates of the x-intercepts of the graph of the function. The factored form can also help us identify the vertex of the graph which is the point where the function reaches its minimum value. Because of the symmetry of quadratic graphs, the vertex is halfway between the zeros at negative 1 and 3. Once we know the x-coordinate of the vertex is 1, we can find the y-coordinate by evaluating the function there. f of 1 is negative 4, so the vertex is at 1, comma, negative 4. Although it is not as easy as with standard form, we can find the y-intercept from factored form. We can see that f of 0 equals negative 3. So, the coordinates of the y-intercept are 0, comma, negative 3. Thank you for watching video 4 of 6 for this unit on Introduction to Quadratic Functions.